project here. Relocating the spare tire from the front to the side so I can put my toolbox on right here um, as well as eventually put a winch inside the toolbox and uh, be able to winch stuff onto the trailer. So here's the tire relocation. This is an old bracket I had sitting around, an old kit that I bought. It's for a four or five lug uh, wheel and got it all welded on and I ended up putting it closer to the fenders um, then toward the front. I took your advice, Steve, and went ahead and moved it back further. Um, I didn't put it back much further. I could have put it closer to this stake pocket here. Um, I ended up setting it right there. Maybe it's a dumb reason, but because these welds, there was a break in the welds, in the factory welds, for the upper and lower frame. Um, there was a break right there, so I slid this all the way back to that back weld rather than trying to grind it out so it would be able to sit low and sit on the that lower frame because that lower frame does stick out a little bit. So I set that on there and welded up the sides. Um, on the bottom I ended up making several passes on the top right here to anchor this and even welded some on the inside down there. It's pretty terrible so I won't show you that. But what I did do is I ended up extending this because it's only for a four or five lug. I ended up extending this so my six uh, lug um, wheel will fit right here. And so I'll have one right here and right here. And obviously that's just a piece of flat, so I welded a couple spars on. There's a spar right here, and I welded it right here and right here. So that'll support it, and I put one on each side. There's the other one. And then as far as this bolt goes, I probably made a mistake and um, tack welded these, tack welded this one in place, just, where's my finger, um, in three little places, just barely tacked it. Um, that'll hold it in place. I should have just waited and bought those little push-on washers, but for this lower one, I'll go ahead and drill it, um, push it through, and then I'll probably just tack it in a couple places just enough to hold it in place. And then uh, that way, if I need to ever strip it off, strip it out or whatever, I'll just cut it off with a cutoff wheel and knock the rest of it through, and then replace it. So, all right, so far so good. And then as far as D-rings go. Um, I think I will go ahead and just weld them to the outside upper edge here, like right here, rather than on top. That way, since you reminded me about the boards, thank you, um, I'll be able to just set the boards directly on here and run them all the way back. And I lied, I have actually have three stake pockets on each side. There's one here. We'll be able to run the board all along here. Um, second stake pocket there. There's the inside of the fender. The third stake pocket is all the way back there on the dovetail, so it kind of tapers down. And then this was another thing I didn't think about in, in my uh, vast expertise in forward thinking that this um, support here for the ramp is going to be in the way of bringing boards all the way back to here, back to the ramps. But I do have 16 feet of trailer all the way to the edge of the wood here, so I might just stop it right here, go ahead and weld on another stake pocket. Um, I'll just buy a couple more, weld on a couple more right here at the end, and then just stop right there, I guess. If I need to put a little tailgate on, I'll just weld on or bolt on some angles like you did on yours and then just have a piece of board I can drop in for the back here. Um, so that's the plan for now. And uh, after I get this done, then I'll start working on, I guess, the winch mount and the trailer box. Of course, I still need to buy the winch and a battery for the box. So that'll be, and I'll have to build a frame across here obviously to support it. That's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to try to use this cross piece right here as part of the winch support and then bring up another uh, piece from the bottom here um, about the same width. I should just be able to weld a couple posts on from the bottom that I can uh, mount the winch to. Uh, or alternative like we talked about making the winch where we can put in a receiver and put it in, put it out, put it in, pull it out, and then put it on a, another vehicle on a receiver if we need to. So so I will have to definitely build a platform across the bottom either way to support the box and or the winch. So, Alright. So far so good, I think. I'll get this finished up. I'm letting it cool off. I'm going to go ahead and mount the tire and uh, mark that lower bolt um, and then get that drilled out and then uh, get that tacked in, and then I'll paint it, and then mount the tire on it. Okay, so far so good. I'll bolt it down. 
Seems to be pretty straight. It's a little bit tipped in at the top, but that's okay. Um, there's the studs. Everything's painted up. There's the lock. Just around the lock around the inside there. Just put that down inside. It should stay there nicely. I've kicked it a few times and it hadn't come off yet, so maybe it'll stay.